So I always close with the same song. Um, <laughs> um, it's a very simple song. It has only four lines. Um, and what I have to say about it is, um, well, it's been super interesting, of course, to be part of this song's life. The song has gone around the world and done some interesting things that I hear about all the time, and I'm, I feel grateful to people for what they do with it. And um, My thought about it has to do with there's a, a Buddhist nun who says something about the fact that we are not born into original sin, we're born with original soft spot. And that all the bizarre and irrational things that the human race does, and there are a few of those things, um, uh, is in a misguided attempt to protect original soft spot. And I travel around a lot, and I hear from a lot of people, and I'm pleased to see that there is this big uptick in work in healthcare and education on um, trauma, I guess trauma-informed work, they call it, where they are now saying not what is wrong with someone, but what happened to them. Right? And I'll just tell you briefly a story. This um, fellow who was the son of the man who started a website called Stormfront. It's an alt-right, white supremacist, neo-Nazi website with much traffic and much organizing. The son was uh, picked to be the successor to the dad. And he went to college, I think somewhere in Florida, and his um, peers found out about it and outed him, and much fear about this, understandably and rightly so. And some other fellow, I, I can't remember if he was an Orthodox Jewish man or a Reformed Jewish man, but anyway, he had a group going on of just asking people to over to his house to hold dialogue and conversation. Decided to reach out to this guy and bring him in and not make a big fuss out of the alt-right piece of his life. Short, shortening the story, um, he flipped. And he has now become a spokesperson about, uh, against white supremacy, against neo-Nazism, against his own dad's life work, and is out there speaking. I tried to bring him to my campus, and I couldn't find him, because I think he has to do this, right, underground. But it was super touching to me that someone who we might think cannot be reached was in fact reached and he attributes it to the friendship of this man that he befriended him and brought him in. So this song um, has four lines. It goes, how could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful? How could anyone ever tell you you were less than whole? How could anyone fail to notice that your loving is a miracle? How deeply you're connected to my soul. <clears throat> And just a shout out to you, you use. I'm super happy you have the theme standing on the side of love. I, I love that. I think it's so here we go. We sing it uh, over and over until we stop. It goes like this. How could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful How could anyone ever tell you You were less than whole How could anyone fail to notice That your loving is a miracle How deeply you're connected to my soul Sing harmonies How could anyone ever tell you You were anything less than beautiful how could anyone ever tell you you were less than whole? How could anyone fail to notice that your loving is a miracle? How deeply you're connected to my soul. How could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful? How could anyone ever tell you you were less than whole How could anyone fail to notice That your loving is a miracle How deeply you're connected to my soul One more time How could anyone ever tell you You were anything less than beautiful 
How could anyone ever tell you you were less than whole? How could anyone fail to notice that your loving is a miracle? How deeply you're connected to my soul. Thank you.